In yet another glaring example of liberal hypocrisy, celebrity activist Alyssa Milano who championed the hashtag MeToo movement has carved out a generous exception for creepy Joe Biden. Formerly a B-list actress who has become a leader of the Hollywood resistance by leveraging her social media presence, Milano has been at the forefront of efforts to reverse the 2016 election that she and her fellow entitled celebrity narcissists have refused to accept. Free Trump 2020 flag, limited time offer There have been few issues that the 46-year-old whose career zenith was reached when she played Samantha on the popular 1980s sitcom Who's the Boss has not been sought out by the media to pontificate on but none more so than hashtag me too which at first drew attention to women who had experienced sexual assault but soon evolved into a weaponized political force that has been used by the left to take down their enemies. Alas, hypocrisy is the coin of the realm with the celebs and Milano is singing a much different tune about inappropriate sexual conduct when it comes to Biden who has been anointed by the unhinged left as the latest incarnation of the Trump slayer that they have been longing for. So naturally, old Foghorn Leghorn is given a pass for his groping because according to Milano, he comes from a super affectionate family and his sniffing and inappropriate touching can be chalked up to simply having, get this, cultural differences. At Alyssa Milano defends Biden, he was raised in a family that was super affectionate. Adds she knows what it's like, I walked on to set a few weeks ago and I kissed our prop guy on the arm, and I had this moment of, like. Maybe that made him uncomfortable. Pick.twitter.com slash cribbledekexu, Tom Elliott, at Tom's Elliott April 29, 2019 via The Daily Wire, Alyssa Milano defends Joe Biden touching, smelling women, he just has cultural differences the actress told MSNBC anchors that she spoke privately to Mr. Biden about his suspect behavior with women and noted that she was impressed by the Democrat. Biden told her privately what she wishes more men in positions of power would say out loud. He said to me, I'm willing to learn, I'm willing to listen, I didn't realize that I'm too affectionate, said Milano. The charmed star then echoed a line the political right had been emphasizing ad nauseum, there is a spectrum when it comes to sexual misconduct, and I think that this brings up a really important question that we really haven't touched on in Me Too she said. Often in these moments, where we're hearing these stories, I think it's important to emphasize the difference in these stories. Milano then directly addressed the accusations from former state Senator Lucy Flores, DNV, who said Biden grabbed her shoulders, smelled her hair, and kissed the back of her head during a 2014 encounter. Apparently this interaction was nothing more than an expression of Biden's culture differences. For me, the thing that set this story, the Ms. Flory's story, apart from all the other stories, to Joe, this is a culture difference, because culturally he was raised in a family that was super affectionate, Milano said. Nationwide poll, was Obama the worst president in history? In addition to Milano, celebs are going all in on Biden. We have a great field of candidates running for president. We should be supportive of them all, but if ever there was a time in our nation's history that we needed someone to restore our soul and standing as leader of the free world, it's now. Joe Biden will do that on day one, Rob Reiner, at Rob Reiner April 25, 2019 Joe Biden to hit Beverly Hills fundraiser in May in 2020 ramp up https colon slash slash t dot co slashes three uves 14 i pick dot twitter dot com slash dracarb 7 a 9 y deadline hollywood at deadline april 24th 2019 but while creepy joe may be a hidden tinsel town one has to wonder how the reactionary base and social justice fanatics are going to take it now that the same celebrity thought leaders who have spent years decrying the white man's culture as biden himself called it are going to respond to this big switcheroo biden may have the star power to vacuum up the money and endorsements of the hollywood high rollers but he's going to be a hard sell to the millions of angry women who swarmed washington after trump's inauguration 
to protest in pink knit pussy hats and wave vulgar signs of the female anatomy. The stars may be banking on a candidacy that is an even bigger bomb than the box office for Rob Reiner's latest movie. Special offer, Gold Trump 2020 coin for 50% off, get yours today, you might like Let's Block Ads. Why?